In this video, you will learn the most common reasons why men lie to the woman they love. So if you've been lied to by a man that you care about and you find it difficult to understand why he did it or why he continues to lie, then this is the video for you. Don't go anywhere because we're starting right now. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Antonio Borello and I'm a psychologist and a relationship coach. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy with the people you love. So if you're interested in making your love life the best part of your life, start now by clicking the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you aren't missing anything. Okay, on to why men lie to the women they love. Everyone knows that being dishonest and lying to your partner is a surefire way to ruin your relationship. So why do people do it? Why do people tell lies and risk breaking your trust and breaking the relationship? Well, before I tell you the reasons why men lie to you, I need to explain that fundamentally, there are only two kinds of lies, self-serving lies and kind-hearted lies. And as you might imagine, the most common kind of lie is a self-serving lie. These are lies that people tell to either promote themselves, as in making themselves look better, or to protect themselves, as in avoiding blame or punishment, or otherwise to save themselves from getting hurt. For example, a man might lie about or exaggerate his accomplishments or what he has in order to make himself look better. Or a man might lie to deny that he did something bad or embarrassing. Whatever the case, the lie is self-serving. Far less common are kind-hearted lies or lies that are told with the intent of making another person look better or feel better or to spare them from embarrassment. For example, a person might lie and tell you that they really liked a meal that you made them even though they really didn't. The lie was told to spare you from having your feelings hurt. Okay, now that you understand that most lies are self-serving, here are the top five reasons why men lie to you. Number one, he lies to manipulate you and get his way. I've chosen to describe this one first because it's the most obvious reason that comes to mind when you think of someone lying. What I mean is some people lie because they are highly manipulative and exploitative and they are trying to advance their goals in some way. Now, having said that, I don't think that this is the most common reason for lying. In other words, there certainly are sociopaths who are capable of doing anything necessary to get what they want. So they lie and cheat and steal and do whatever it takes to get what they want. But they are definitely a minority. Nevertheless, these types of liars are probably sociopaths and have empathy impairments or lack emotional empathy. And they are often emotionally abusive and will deliberately lie to you to confuse you and make you doubt your perceptions. It's called gaslighting and it's often practiced by narcissists. They make you doubt your own observations and memory and sanity, or they will argue and wear you down until you don't trust what you know is true. And sometimes they will straight out deny what you saw. All the while you're thinking, this can't be real. This person must be joking. I know what I saw. Why does he insist on this lie? I've made several videos about these types of narcissists and I'll include a link to those videos at the end of this one. Because these types of liars are the most dangerous. And these manipulative people do not discriminate. They lie to everyone and their lying has nothing to do with you. Now, besides these types of liars, I want to dig into something much more specific. And that is, why do men lie to you personally? And this is where things get really interesting. Oftentimes, there are things about your personality, things about your personal qualities, both good qualities and bad qualities, that tempts men to lie to you. Now, just to be clear, I'm not suggesting that it is your fault if a man lies to you. Of course not. What I'm saying is that there are things about your personality that tempt men to lie because they feel that lying is easier or a better option than simply telling the truth. Let's move on to number two so I can explain. Number two, he lies because you are too good. Sometimes when men lie to you, it's because of your very best qualities that they can't measure up to. I'm not saying that it ever justifies their lying. I'm simply explaining some of the things that might motivate them towards lying. If a man holds you in very high regard and then he does something stupid, something that he's embarrassed about, he may lie to you because he worries that you will lose respect for him. This is part of the psychology of disappointment. So rather than deal with any disappointment that you may feel, he will lie to you if his behavior or history is not so good. 
For example, let's say that you're a woman with an excellent credit history and you are a very financially responsible person. If a man has a poor credit history or perhaps he carries a lot of financial debt, he may lie and tell you that he has excellent credit because he fears that you will lose respect for him if you knew the truth. Number three, he lies because he admires you. The second part of this, if a man admires you and really wants you, he may resort to trying to impress you. In other words, he may lie or exaggerate things so he seems more impressive than he really is. And because he admires you so much, he wants you to admire him back. And if he's insecure and doesn't believe that you will admire him just the way he is, then he is tempted to lie to you so you'll be impressed. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes men will lie to you because of your very best qualities. Obviously, these are things that you should be proud of and things that you would never want to change. On the other hand, there may be parts of your personality that you aren't so proud of, and these are also qualities that often provoke people to lie to you. Let me give you an example that perfectly sets up the next reason why men lie. Number four, he's tempted to lie because he thinks you're overly jealous or controlling. Now, this one is super important and the one that I see more often than any of the other lies. So let me give you an example. A 27-year-old woman had been dating her 28-year-old boyfriend for a few years but her last boyfriend had cheated on her and eventually left her for another woman. Now, despite the fact that her current boyfriend gave her no real reason to be concerned, she was very jealous and frequently questioned him about his whereabouts when they were apart. And her questioning happened in an accusatory manner, such as, why did it take you 25 minutes to get home today? It should take you only 17 minutes. What were you doing? Who were you with? So yeah, she had an unhealthy amount of jealousy, but she justified her behaviors because she was cheated on before. Additionally, she disapproved of many of his friends and favorite activities because they had a history of drinking and partying to excess. Now, do you see where I'm going with this one? Yeah, he often lied to her when he wanted to hang out with his friends. In other words, he didn't tell her because he knew she would freak out. And the more she tried to control him and make sure that he did things the way that she thought they should be done, the more he had to lie in an effort to keep things peaceful. In this case, she tempted him to lie because she made it difficult for him to tell the truth. Number five, he lies because he thinks he is sparing you the pain of knowing the truth. Have you heard the statement, what a person doesn't know can't hurt them? This is an invitation to omit the truth under the guise of sparing another person pain. Let me give you an example from my own life. So I was a new therapist in a big clinic. The clinic was having a holiday party and I told my girlfriend at the time that the party was for employees only. I told her that spouses and significant others were not invited because I wanted to go to the party alone. But the truth is they were invited. And of course, she later found out that I had lied to her about the party. The truth is, I wanted to go alone because I wanted to spend time getting to know my coworkers and I felt like it would be easier for me without her. Easier for me, that's the key. Now, I apologize and I tried to explain that I didn't want to upset her or hurt her feelings. So I told her that significant others weren't invited. Well, as you can imagine, she schooled me and she was justified in doing so. In reality, I hoped to avoid having what I thought would be a difficult conversation, so I chose to lie instead. Who benefited from the deception? Well, I thought I was going to benefit from it, but obviously I was wrong. In this case, my lie was more than the little white lie that I thought it was. I was deceitful and my behavior was unacceptable. But yes, yeah, sometimes people lie or omit parts of their experiences or secrets and try to justify the lie by claiming that they want to spare the other person some pain. In reality, lies are the liar's attempt to avoid having an uncomfortable or difficult conversation. Now we're getting to the good part. Keep watching because I'm going to tell you how to approach the topic of lying in your relationship. How should you deal with it? Well, first, it's important to recognize that the act of lying, especially if the person gets away with it, has a built-in mechanism for repetition. Often, the second lie follows very soon because it may be necessary as some cover-up for the first lie. Plus, the ease with which a lie can be applied as a problem-solving tool is too seductive to resist. Once its usefulness has been experienced, the temptation of repeated application as needed is way too powerful. And secondly, when lying is well-practiced and skillfully applied, 
It takes on the semblance of a sport. Each successfully applied lie will reinforce the act of lying in its continuation. So it's a dangerous road to go down and may be a hard habit to break. Now, what do you do when you find out that your man has lied to you or is lying to you? Well, it starts with a conversation and seeking to understand the conditions that existed in his head when he was trying to decide if he should lie or tell the truth. Is he hiding aspects of his life because he believes that you will be judgmental? Now, if it's early in a relationship, sharing intimate details of your fears is understandable. This might be due to fear or insecurity or the two of you haven't yet developed enough trust or feel safe enough to share, to be vulnerable and to be emotionally intimate. On the other hand, if he's doing things that are incongruent with your relationship, then that's another story. That's much more of an unacceptable lie. Either way, reevaluating your relationship might be wise. I'd love to know what you all think. Has lying been a problem in your relationship? If so, what kind of lies? Or have you ever felt like you needed to omit some truth because you were in a relationship with a person who was super possessive and jealous? Are these types of lies ever acceptable? Leave a comment and let's talk about it. Oh, and if you want to learn more about narcissistic and manipulative people, Click here to watch this video or click here to watch the video that YouTube thinks that you'll like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.